Hi, my name is Kate. Thank you for your interest, and I wish you good vision. Let's create a new code file that we will call main. Code Builder is a very powerful tool that allows you to perform low-level operations. We recommend that you read the online help carefully. Code Builder provides the most common language structures. It provides a set of instructions that the developer can use to meet the various needs of the application. For example create, read, or edit text files. Or automatically change the value of the gates when particular events or conditions occur. Perform mathematical calculations, even complex ones. Import or save recipes. Create production reports. Send mail or SMS. Operate on template objects. Now, let's proceed with creating a code routine. The process function is executed at startup, and checks if the numerical variable power, exceeds 90 and, in this case, equals the numerical variable set point, to the temperature read. It also checks the presence of plant alarm 1 and, in this case, forces the system to operate in manual mode, automatic digital variable. Multi-language language functions select the desired language and can be called from template objects. In this example, we have created a function to automate the process, and three functions to change the language. Now, allow me a little more technical information. Let's check that there are no syntax errors. The function is a procedure, that is a list of instructions, written by the application developer, selected to perform a specific task such as calculating the result of a mathematical formula, read or write a file from or to disk, display data in a certain format, send commands to devices connected with the application, generate production reports and countless other tasks. A function is characterized by a name that identifies the function throughout the program, a return value, which can be either one of the variable types supported by the software, or void if the function should not return anything. A list of optional parameters. They are the values the function needs in order to be operative. Directives. They are special commands that enrich the functions. Local variables, necessary for the function development. A sequence of instructions characterizing the function. This is the syntax of a function. The square brackets indicate that the element enclosed in them is not strictly necessary. Type, is the type of information, returned by the function. Name, is the name identifying the function. Parameter list, are the list and the types of data, to be entered in the function, so that it can perform its task. Local vars, is the definition of all the variables necessary for the function development. Instructions, is the sequence of instructions carried out by the function. The directives indicate. Macro, the function can be called up through the macro menu. Startup, the function is executed when the supervisor starts in the background. It is therefore possible to generate cyclic functions, that perform checks or actions dictated by certain conditions. Shutdown, the function is performed when the supervisor closes. Modal, the supervisor waits for the execution of the function, to finish before allowing other operations. Now let's modify our template, adding three buttons that call our functions.
For each button, we add the correct function to call up the language. Let's run our application. Let's log in. Let's now check the functioning of our functions. Now let's try to change the languages with the buttons just entered. Let's take the power to 90. The setpoint variable equals the temperature. This means that the system has done what was written in the code correctly. Let's activate the plant alarm 1. As defined in the code, the operation switches to manual mode. Thanks for your attention. For more information, I invite you to browse our site or, send us an email. See you at the next tutorial, have a nice day.